The learning target for lesson two today is I understand the side menu on my site, which allows me to adjust my theme, add content, and add pages to my site. Our success criteria for this lesson include, I can choose a pre-existing theme or create a theme for my site. I can add a new page to my site. I can organize the pages on my site, and I can change the header on each page of my site. So we're going to take a look at the side menu here, which is on the right hand side of your screen. You have the words insert, pages, and themes. We are going to start with themes. Now you can choose from a variety of themes that Google has pre-created for you. So let's say I like this diplomat theme and I want to go ahead and change the color. I can make the color almost any color that's available to me here, or I can click on this little icon here that has a paint bucket and I can move this around and find a different color. So let's say I'm looking for like this hot pink color and I can go ahead and change that. So if I click off of that, I can also then change my font styles. So this is under the classic. It's got these fonts. They're called serif fonts. They have these little tails on them. You can choose light which makes a very thin style writing, and you could choose heavy. For this one, I think we're gonna go with light. And then you also have the opportunity to create your own themes if you choose to. So you click this little plus button, and you're going to go ahead and give it a name. So we'll call this my theme. Now, if you had a logo or a banner image, this is the banner up here. If you had a banner image you wanted to appear on every page, you can add them here. You click through, you can choose some preset colors. So if I wanted to choose, say this blue set, um, I can change my different fonts that are available to me. So there's a lot more fonts available if you create your own. You can change that for both your titles and your headings and your body text. And then you would click create theme. I'm not actually going to create a theme for this one. I'm going to stick with this simple theme that I already have. Now we're going to look at how to add pages to your site. You're going to add multiple pages to your site, so you're going to need to know how to do this. So you wanna go over here to pages, and it's very, actually very easy. At the very bottom down here, you have this little plus sign. You're just gonna click the plus sign and click new page. That's gonna bring up this box, and you're going to give the page a title. Now your teacher has probably given you a list of pages that you need to add to your site. I'm just, for the purposes of this tutorial, going to name them pages one, two, three, and four, uh, just so that you can see. So we have page two, we have page three, and then I'm going to click up here so I can show you what happens, page four. Okay, so now you can see here my pages are kind of out of order. You're going to want your pages in a certain order based upon whatever your um, your teacher tells you you're going, whatever order you're going to put them in. So for this case, I'm just going to show you how to reorder these. It's really quite simple. You click on the page, you hold your button, and you drag and you drop it. Now you can also make sub pages. So let's say I wanted page 1A. So I wanted a page that, that kind of attached to that one. You can do that by clicking on these three little dots right here and click add sub page. So I'm going to call this page 1A. You can also do it by just adding a new page. So I'm going to call this one page 2A. It's going to add a new page right at the bottom. And let's say I want this to be part of page 2. I would just drag and drop it right on top of it. And now it's going to show up underneath it. You'll also notice that it then shows up here on your navigation bar. Now the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is to change this picture at the top. Now right now I have this theme that has this purple background, but let's say I wanted to change my image. So I would click here on change image and I can either upload a picture. So if you have a picture that you've saved from the internet, you can upload it or you can select an image. For this, I'm going to select an image and I'm going to use an image that's already here in the Google library. They have all different ones, these geometric patterns. There's some picture ones, but uh, I'm feeling the beach today. So we're going to click on this beach scene and click select. And now my background has changed to be that beach scene. You can change your header type as well. So let's say you wanted a page where the entire page looks like that. So here we go, page 2A. And it shows almost the, when you first click on it, shows the whole page this way. And then you would scroll down to the content. You can do a large banner. So it's just a bit bigger. It starts out as a regular banner, and then if you don't want a banner at all and you just want a title, you can click title only. 
Um, that shows you the different header types that you can include on here. And you can also change the words on here. So this is page 2A, but if I wanted this to say about me, I can do that. Um, if you do design your own header, which some people like to do by adding their own text using some sort of graphic design software, you can actually go ahead and delete this about me if you wanted to. I could just click on it and click delete. And then my graphic that I had with text in it already would show up back here. Now it's your turn. First, you're going to choose or create a theme for your site. Then you're gonna add all of your additional pages to your site that are titled according to your assignment expectations. There should be about eight additional pages. You're going to make sure your pages are ordered in the order expected for your assignment. And then if you're choosing to not use a theme, but instead have different pictures at the top of each page, you're going to go ahead and make some changes to those.